Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. All praises to the Most High. So this is a word from God, and it all it also ties into a couple videos that I have done. So I'm going to tell you those videos. Thou shall not covet bribery and extortion, families, best friends under judgment for um, like marriage destruction, and um, the house of the thief. So all of this goes in together with this, what God is saying for this judgment. And um, I'm going to explain it to you. So, and my mouse is not working. So it's going to take me a little bit longer, but I did pull up the scriptures. I just can't like copy and paste it like how I could do with my other videos. So I'm just waiting. Got to order a new mouse to come in. So this is the message okay guys judgments gone out on families and those stealing and coveting from the blind the deaf and the dead so um and he wants me to talk to you about the curse of stealing from the dead and like what what he wants me to explain about people who stole from the dead right like people stole people's inheritances like there's families who stole people's inheritances money that was left to them from a family member that passed on um, estates insurance money settlements that they didn't give people so this um so when somebody's dead and they leave something for someone else and your family doesn't give that to you they stole from the dead there's a that that is different from stealing from the living there's a curse when you steal from someone who's dead because they didn't give that to you. You understand? And who they intended it on giving that to, whether it be gift, whether it be property, whether it be generational wealth, it wasn't intended for that person. And that person is dead, so they can't advocate for themselves. So there's a curse that comes with stealing people's inheritance, stealing things out of people's wills. So that's what God wants to talk about. And, um, so insurance estates wills people who family who steal or take leave people out of those things trust funds uh, and there's a curse for stealing from the dead and then there's a curse for stealing from the blind all right and then he wants me to read leviticus to go up with the stealing from the blind and the deaf so leviticus 19 and 14 thou shalt not curse the deaf nor put a stumbling block before the blind but thou shalt fear the lord thy god I am the Lord because Job he tells you he was eyes for the blind right so you're not supposed to defraud the blind or steal from the blind that's different that's a whole different judgment than stealing from somebody who's capable and living so in Job 29 and 15 it says I was eyes to the blind and feet was I to the lame so these people are under judgment right so now he wants me to read Ezekiel 46 and 18. Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression to thrust them out of their possession, but he shall give his son's inheritance out of his own possession, that my people be not scattered every man from his possession. So God doesn't want people to be out of their possessions, their inheritance. Nobody's supposed to take another man or oppress somebody for their inheritance you get me so the stumbling block you're not supposed to cast a stumbling block for the blind so in Isaiah 50 57 and 14 and he and sh and shall say cast ye up cast ye up prepare the way take up the stumbling block out of the midst of my people so don't put stumbling blocks before the blind if you steal from the blind, thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. I am the Lord. Not because they're blind, you're supposed to steal from them. Not because they're deaf, you're supposed to steal from them. And not because they're dead, you're supposed to steal from them. There's a curse that comes with stealing from people who are deaf, who are blind, and who are dead. That's a different type of curse. You know there's a curse in the house of the thief already. So this all goes into the videos, that the other videos, bribery and extortion. I, Amos 5 and 12. For I know your manifold transgressions and, the, and your mighty sins, that 
they afflict the just, they take a bribe and they turn aside the poor and the gate from his right. So this is about, this is like an accumulation of videos that God's saying like, this is what's going on. He's judging these type of people, bribery, extortion. And it, and with this, even my other video here, the thief and the adulterer, but the, in the house of the thief, I just want to get some scriptures because I told you my mouse is broken. So I have to go here. Um, so Jeremiah 7 and 9, will you steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense on Baal, and walk after other gods whom you know not? So that's not, this is the scripture I'm looking for. It's in Zechariah. Uh, yeah, here it is. Zechariah 5 and 3. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the, the whole earth. For everyone that steals shall be cut off as on this side according to it and everyone that swears shall be cut off on that side according to it Zechariah 5 and 4 and I will bring it forth says the Lord of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swears falsely by my name and it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof so you, you already know there's a curse in the house of the thief right but God wants you to know them people, judgment's gone out on families and those stealing and coveting from the blind, the deaf, and the dead. And this is about the, 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 the last video I made about the coveting, coveting what's not theirs. Covetous is wanting something that's not yours. So this all goes in, those all those videos tie into this. And with what I'm saying, when God said the other video I did, about judgments gone out on families and best friends for the marriages because people's inheritances are supposed to help their family. They're supposed to help their spouse and their children. That inheritance is for them because God said, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. And in these shall all the families of the earth be blessed. But you have to have your inheritance to be blessed. You have to have those things, right? And if your family has stolen that from you, then they took a part of that something that belongs to you and your children. You understand? So this is, he's saying all of these judgments, they come in one because these people were hindering you from doing what you're supposed to do and hindering you and blocking you from what you're supposed to have. You understand? Because they stole it. And there's a different type of judgment. Like, like God, yes, he judges people for stealing, but stealing from people who are deaf, blind, deaf, and dead is different because the a dead man can't tell no tales, right? So the dead man can't defend himself. And we understand when you steal something and you get caught, you have to re return what you stole seven folds and all the substance of your house. But a dead man can't testify against somebody who they stole from, right? Can they? Right? And the fact that the person who passed on, they left that gift or that inheritance or that that property or, or estate or money to that person that they put in that paper, they put in that will that they had in their heart to give and then someone else took it away from them. They died thinking that it was going to that person, but that person didn't receive it. But God saw the injustice. You understand? So that person be, is cursed because they stole from the dead and the dead couldn't do anything about it. You get it? So the blind, the blind didn't see them people stealing from them. They couldn't defend themselves. So there's a curse for that because that was an injustice. They were at a disadvantage. You understand? They were at a, and a deaf. They were at a disadvantage as well. So that's why stealing from such people, them people get a double judgment. Is what God wants them to know. Amen. I don't know if you guys just heard him say amen. But yeah. Um, so this is the message today that, well, he, he had me working on it, but I couldn't put it together how you usually see me put together videos because of my lap, because of my mouse. It, when I went to use it, I seen it wasn't working. I checked it wasn't the battery. So I know I had to buy a new one. But anyways, besides all of that, he still wanted me. I'm like, you still want me to do the video? And he told me, yes. So I'm here doing it for you. And basically there's judgments different from people who stealing and coveting from the deaf the blind and people who are dead you understand 
Uh, because if them people who are dead wanted those family members to have that, they would have gave it to them. So they're even being kvitches. You understand? So you see how that even the video kvitch, kvitting all goes into one. And um, yeah, so let me tell you those videos again that go the bribery and extortion, families, best friends under judgment, um, the house of the thief, thou shall not covet. They all go into this. And um, basically, every man, you're not supposed to oppress people for their inheritance, right? And beautiful people, and you don't cast a stumbling block before the deaf and the blind. And this is what God wants you to know. He's judging those people. And um, it could have been, and oh yeah, I don't want <clears throat> to not mention this. Um, it could, it, 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 even if it happened 20 years ago, even if it happened 15 years ago, even if it happened five years ago, them people is getting judged right now for it. It even could have happened 30 years ago. If you even know about this settlement, you didn't know about no insurance money, it doesn't matter because these people are under judgment. And um, so you're going to see a lot of the things that if you go in those videos where I say the judgment of such things, you're going to see a lot of that happening to people. Um, yeah. And stay blessed, beautiful people. And, you know, take this up with fasting. I love you. Stay blessed. Take care.